welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be making flourless brownies three different ways, using health foods in our brownies so that they're actually healthy and we can eat them and not feel terrible. The first health food that we're gonna be adding to one of these brownies is going to be sweet potato. And the second health food, avocado. See if they're ripe or not. Maybe not. Definitely not. And then we're also gonna be doing one with black beans. We have the recipe right here, the exact same recipe. The only thing that we changed is which ingredient we add. So it's super simple. I'm just gonna make all three today so that you can see which one you're gonna like. I'm gonna try them and let you know which one tastes better. Each of these recipes makes six brownies. I'm gonna make like 12 brownies. So we want to multiply this recipe by two, divide it by three, and each third gets an ingredient. Um, I'll leave the ingredients down below for each recipe and you won't have to worry about what the heck I just said. While the oven is preheating at 350, we're going to start mixing up our brownie base batter. I have this sweet potato that I just microwaved. Three minutes on this side, flip it over. Another three minutes this is the one we're going to be using, so bye. First ingredient is almond butter. Half a cup of almond butter for each brownie recipe. I'm gonna do one cup because I'm doing all three recipes and I'm trying to make 12 brownies and each recipe makes six. I forget what I was saying. Next, four tablespoons of maple syrup. So we're gonna need half a cup of cocoa powder, but again, since I'm multiplying by two, divided by three, algebra, I'm gonna do one cup. Half a cup of oats, but again, I'm gonna do one cup because I am doing the most. Super dry. We're gonna add the eggs now. The recipe calls for two eggs. But again, I'm multiplying by two, divided by three, two, two out of three. I don't know. We're just gonna put four eggs, but you at home, if you're making this recipe for six people, you're gonna do two. It actually smells like brownies. Baking powder. One te teaspoon. We're just gonna, wow, just gonna eyeball it, you know, how that always works for me. Wow. Optional if you want to add chocolate chips. So I figured if it's optional, then duh, chocolate chips. Like. <laughs> Half a cup of chocolate chips. I'm just gonna go crazy. We're also going to add a quarter cup of almond milk. I'm gonna freaking buy a camera. I can't take the stupid iPhones anymore. This is what I do. This is what, when I get angry, I start yelling things about Samsungs because I know they'd be listening to me and they're gonna know that I'm about to switch to somebody else because they can't get their things together. Okay? So. Samsung, 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 I'm going to get a freaking Samsung by Apple. Goodbye. Okay, I'm done. We've added the almond milk. It wasn't recorded, but okay. This is what it looks like now. And it looks very much like brownies. Smells a little bit more dark chocolatey than brownies, but still smells good. We have three bowls here. I'm gonna separate this situation into three different containers, and then we're gonna add each of the three ingredients into each of the containers. I probably should have measured that, right? Your recipe should be one full recipe. It'll make six brownies. You're going to add one cup of each of these ingredients into here. So that's about enough for that recipe. Give it a little bit of a mash. It goes into these brownies. If you're gluten-free, dairy-free, any of those, both of those, you can have this. Right? Here's for hoping that it's like a pretty avocado. Okay, it's not the most beautiful avocado. But imperfections are beauty. This is how you take out the pit. Just be careful. Boom. Boom. And then squeeze it out again. Mash it up. Nice. Perfect. Now we're going to add it to this. Part of me feels like these are all going to taste the same. Here's the sweet potato. Here's the avocado. We're going to open up the beans. You at home are going to do one cup for the six brownies. All right. Beans go in. Sweet potato, avocado, beans. It's the only one that looks significantly different. It's more thick than the other ones. Typically, brownies are made in just a regular rectangular pan, but I'm going to be making it in a muffin tin because A, I can separate four brownies. You get it now? Now you get the math. Because I was doing 12, four of each. Okay. Number two is if you love chewy, crunchy outside part of the brownie, muffin tin is the way to go because you get a crust-ish thing all around. So we're gonna have to find a way to remember this, so I think I'm gonna just like take a chunk of sweet potato. This is probably gonna burn in the oven though, but whatever. And 
to add the sweet potato one to these four. Little chunk of avocado there. So we know that's avocado row. Much more thin. I should probably use a spoon for this, right? Not a fork. But you can see it's like beans, right? Here is the sweet potato brownies. And then this is the avocado row. A lot more smooth looking. And then the bean one is somewhere in between. And now we're gonna stick it in the oven for 20 minutes. And in case it burns, we can just pop it out. There's the side by side. Here's the sweet potato, here's the avocado, and here is the black bean. The real test, taste test. We're gonna try a little bit of each one, see which one's better. A bit dry. Very chocolatey. Doesn't taste at all like sweet potato. X avocado. Oh, okay. More moist. Less sweet, but it doesn't taste that much like chocolate. Yeah, kind of bland. The black bean. Hmm. This is hard. This one's good, but it's also not that sweet. Let's rate them. Avocado brownie, last place. It's good, but it's kind of bland and boring and it has that like avocado-y very smooth which is good sometimes but not necessarily in brownies so the bean one is going to take the second place because it's not as sweet and it doesn't taste as strong of chocolate sweet potato one takes first place for sure it's very sweet it tastes a lot like dark chocolate so if you're into dark chocolate definitely go for the sweet potato first second third so here's the sweet potato one. You can see that it's a little bit more lumpy and chunky, and it's got those chunks, so make sure you really blend it up well. Avocado one, you can see it's a lot more smooth. If you really like moist brownies, then this is the one for you. Black bean brownie. Actually very good, it just wasn't as strong chocolate flavor, it wasn't very sweet, and I like things that are sweet, so. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you make one of these. They're actually really good. Let me know down below in the comments which one you're gonna try. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out a video every week on Mondays. Subscribe up, down. I don't know where it's supposed to be. Actually, I think it's below. It's right there. It's down there. I think it's over here. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you like chocolate, definitely give it a thumbs up too. Bye.